Yo, 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 welcome back, welcome back to the Chop Shot EP2, don't got a name for it yet, but you know it's coming, I'm Isaiah, that's my boy Aaron. Yo, 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 we back, episode two? Yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. That shit crazy, episode two already bro. Crazy, we hype, we hype, we don't know if you can tell, but I've been cheesing this whole time, but you know what I'm saying, let's get into it. What's up bro? What's going on? First things first, how you doing? You good? I'm good. How you doing? Sure. How's your week been? Uh, good. A lot of editing. A imagine. lot of editing. School, this stuff, obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, and some other stuff I'm working on. So yeah, a lot of editing. Nah, it's you busy man. You? Busy man, man of many talents. Stop it. <laughs> your week was good though. Yeah, good week. Um, definitely, definitely busy. Uh, just preparation for graduation. Uh, looking forward to that. Surprisingly. When when do you leave? Sunday night. Sunday night. Yeah. Hey, can can we all get like a congratulations in like the comment section or something for for buddy graduating? Like that's kind of big, bro. That's yeah. big. Like it didn't really hit me until today. Like I'm driving home and like I'm thinking back. Like I haven't had butterflies like this probably since high school graduation. Damn. Yeah. You know it's been a minute. You had butterflies at high school graduation? Yeah, bro. It's like damn. This four years is really like this is it. What was high school graduation like for you? High school graduation, it was, it was chill, honestly. It was hype. There was a lot of hype going around. Yeah. Like, like I was seeing all the people, like, I spent these last four years with, ups, downs, you know, ugly cries, hilarious laughs, like, right, everything. Right. I'm seeing us, like, walk across the stage, like, we we really finished this shit. You know what I'm saying? So it was it was a big moment uh for all of us and you know some of them graduation fits they was but we're not going to get into that. Um yeah, graduation like I don't know what this is going to be like considering you know I haven't really been in Florida for like the past couple of years. Right. Uh weather's probably going to be, you know, same shitty shit it is, you know, humid, mad dry. Bad moist. Family. That sound like Texas minus the humidity. Yeah, bro, it's just hot here. That's the main thing I've noticed about Texas. Like, if there's one similarity between Texas and Florida, it's the weather minus just the humidity. Like, we have the same crazy ass weather patterns. Like, one day it'll be like 85, the sun will be out, it'll feel like 95, the and then 50 the next day. Yeah. Yep. So, there was this one time you talking about weather. There was this one time. Uh, I might have told you this. I'm in like eighth grade or something, right? And snowed so bad, they sent us home from school. Get on the bus early, early, right? Get on the bus, get home. By the time I get home, change clothes to go play in the snow, sun was already out. Snow melted? Damn near. That's garbage. Like. That's garbage. Next day, <laughs> I'm thinking we ain't gonna have class. Definitely had class. Definitely. Yeah. Yep. Texas weather, man. You love to see it. Love to see it. Love to see it. Um, another note about Texas weather. So that whole um, not the ice storm we had a couple years ago, but you know how it snowed this year and like yeah, it was pretty uh, about that shit again. I feel like this year wasn't bad compared to that other year. It wasn't. But the craziest thing is like everybody you know really stayed in their crib. Nobody was really trying to leave type shit. Right. I seen a TikTok of like this dude. He was like right near my house, but he was in his, but he was in his charger. He was like doing donuts in the intersection type shit, like whipping down the street. I was like, bro, y'all. In his y'all defense, I feel like that's the perfect time to do it because ain't nobody else, but ain't nobody driving. else was out there, yeah, bro. So. Rose was like damn near empty. Like, buddy was having the time of do his your life. Thing. Yeah, she I'm was not dope. mad at it. Do your thing, bro. She was hard. What you gotta do? Do your thing. Speaking of which. What's up? Like, the hype behind Chargers, like, I get it. And at one point, like, I'm not even going to front. Like, I wanted one. Right. But I feel like it's low-key played out because everybody got one. Respectfully. What are you getting at? I'm getting at, like, there's plenty of other cars. Like, Are you getting a new car? No. Not now, at least. But in the, probably in the, when I graduate with my. Oh, shit. So Sunday? That nigga bachelor's. say got money, No, bro. not this Sunday with my bachelor's, dude. This is for my associate. Nah, you trying to downplay. You getting no. a car on Sunday. No, I'm not. Don't do that, bro. 
The car they got, got money, stop. bro. Don't. Oh, my fault. Yeah, he my do fault. This. He fault. always do this. My bro, fault. it's a... I'm not even going to get into that. Point is, my next car, bro, it got to be like an M3. Like an F8 mm. M3. Either that or like 17, 18, like C43. Like, I need, like, I need that. It's just hard, in my opinion. Like, there's mad shit I want to do to my car now, but I can't because I'm probably going to give it to my little brother. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, that next car, best believe that shit going to be me. I was telling my sister, like, my next car, it got to be black on black. Like, I'm finna black everything out. Word? Like, tinted everything. Tinted and everything. Finna call it the Batmobile. That's a vibe. That's a vibe for That's real. That's a vibe. That's a vibe. Yeah. Have you seen the videos of the, the, the Hellcats and shit? Uh, they'll, like, when cops, like, want to pull them over... They turn off their lights and stuff, and they oh, just and they take, take off. off. Yeah, yeah, bro. Hellcats, Mustangs, Marrows, like yeah, that shit hard. It's hard. It's fuck. And like I be watching videos of like people be behind them and like their cars are like black out. Mm-hmm. How the fuck do they drive at night? At night, bro. I be scared. It's fuck. And it well, it's one thing if like if we in the city doing that, it's cool. Cause it's like the city lights, but the vids that I seen, niggas is in the middle of nowhere, nowhere, bro. They on back roads, yeah, moving though, moving. And I'm talking about it's not no straight back roads. It's no, them, it's them like windy, curvy, one lane back yeah, roads, yeah, mm-hmm. bro. Like they be moving, yeah. They better than me. My bad, officer. I promise. <laughs> I'm bro. What? Shit. Better that than me and dad. Fair. So, yeah. but at that point, them niggas is making a choice. They like, listen, do I? Do I risk getting pulled over, getting the ticket, getting locked up, or do I take that chance and and book it? I'm more so shocked that the cops can't catch them. You're shocked about that? They're the police. So? (laughs) What? Like, why am I getting away? (laughs) 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 No, seriously, I feel like these cars have, like, 600 plus 700 so plus that's what i'm getting at why don't the police cars that's a fair point like but they should be able to keep us under like control right yeah i guess like or keep the peace i've seen clips of like super stock police cars mm-hmm. like dodge challenger super stock and like you know police bad like i've only seen that shit here in texas because you know texas we got money here in texas yeah, so you know vibes know the niggas just spend bread on whatever but most of the police cars i've seen you know ford explorers chevy tahoes that shit not cutting it bro imagine they throw they throw <laughs> that shit is not texas cutting. highway patrol texas highway patrol decals on like a c8 corvette oh my god i'd be scared i wouldn't i wouldn't want to drive knowing that i couldn't get away knowing that nobody's a, done that yet i don't think so it would be crazy if they did you want to try? Try what? Let's do it. Nigga, no. Why not? I have to get my transmission worked on. It's okay, though. No, it's, you going you gonna to front the bill? Yeah, I got you. See, if your homeboy not paying for your car bills. That's I crazy. got you. That's crazy. Ladies, take notes. Next topic. Next topic. Ah, uh, So, last EP, you know, it was just an intro episode. Definitely, you know. Good intro. Great intro. Threw some ideas out there. Definitely saw a lot of comments, a lot of, you know what I'm saying, dialogue being had. A lot. A lot. And we fucked with it because that's exactly what we want. We want this platform to be open. You know what I'm saying? We welcome, you know, those tough conversations that people don't like to have. We welcome all that. Bro, after the first clip went out, somebody was like, they need to cancel the pod. They like they want to cancel us already, bro. Damn. Y'all didn't see that? Mm. Yeah, like, it was either that day or, like, I woke up to it. But it was like, yeah, cancel the pod. It was on TikTok. Yeah, you know who you are, weirdo. I hope you see this. <laughs> he probably is. I he hope probably, he does. He's probably going to watch it. I hope but he does. listen, like, we didn't even really get into it, though. So if you're already saying we need to cancel this shit just off of, like, a topic that we threw out, that's how you know. This discussion has to be had. And that was with a dude. What do you think is going to happen when we start talking, like, about some female stuff? 
I definitely feel like it's going to be a little, well, not even a little, a lot more, you know. Because, you know, females on social media don't give a fuck. They don't care. Let this shit get to Twitter. Promise you, we'll, we'll be the talk of Twitter at least for. Do we need a Twitter account? We can make one. I feel like yeah. Twitter, I feel like everything happens damn near on Twitter. So. We'll talk about it off yeah. camera. More exposure. It's, yeah. not, it's not a bad thing. But. Definitely feel like it'll happen more once we start getting into, like, you know, the female gender and talking about, you know, women. And Can we talk about it right now? Let's talk about it. So, uh, you're going to be a little biased. <laughs> uh, I got to choose my words very carefully because I am a committed man. You know what I'm saying? Ladies, why are we clapping? Why are we clapping? That's not, that's they they don't they don't know you, the, who the people that's I fine. know I know you so that's why I'm clapping, you know. It's been all I'm gonna say is it's been like a like not crazy but like a a little uh, unorthodox out of the ordinary yeah year for you when it comes to like females yeah mm. I mean I guess I'm only. I gotta watch what I say. Damn. Uh, yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Not not that it's nothing crazy. No, not but that it's, it's like, nothing crazy. Just like people people are gonna see it. It's not that I care what they're gonna say. It's more so that I don't want anybody to think that I'm disrespecting them. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So with that being said. But at that at the same time, you know how the media is. They will take a clip and run with that shit with no context behind it. That's good for us. Not if we say the wrong shit. They waiting for us to say something, take that clip, and run with it. They can't, they're going to do it anyway, bro, regardless. Yeah, so, I know that, but I'm saying that's why we got to kind of be on our P's and Q's. Because I don't have any, Fair. I don't have anything to hide. Like, I'm an open book. You know what I'm saying? You're open book? I'm an open book. Like, open, open? Nigga, what? <laughs> I'm an open book. <laughs> Some of this dude. I'm an open book. Yeah. Okay. No, I was just, you know. Yeah, like I don't I don't got nothing to hide. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, committed man. So, ladies, I'ma be real. I'ma be I'ma be real. I'm gonna keep it hundred. But you know, I'm also gonna keep it respectful. You know what I'm saying? I definitely want that to be known up front. Anything that is taken out of context, I'd love to talk about it. I'd love to discuss it. You know, I'm pretty sure we both would. So, disclaimer. Nothing here is meant to disrespect any certain person, any women that fit a certain population, demographics, et cetera, et cetera. We here to chop it up. So, if y'all disagree with anything, feel free to reach out. Let us know. But, you know, we're going to keep it on it. Yo, girl. Your your girl, not your girl per se, but a girl you meet or whatever. You meet shorty, she look cool or whatever, right? Boom, boom, boom. You know, y'all catch a vibe. Y'all exchange di- uh, exchange digits. Mm-hmm. Uh, y'all get socials, whatever, whatever. Go on socials. Shorty that you seeing on socials is not shorty that you were seeing in person. <laughs> What's the play? Um, I, I mean, I'm not going to like react a certain way because like it's, I give that disclaimer out. Like what y'all see on Twitter, that's not how I am in person. Cause on Twitter, I'll be, I'll be wilding. Do you not, funny. do you not think for, do you think for women it's, it's different though? I think it's different. I, I feel like it is as well. Just not to the extent that we. I definitely feel like women use, and I'm talking Twitter specifically, women use Twitter more so as an outlet, as an outlet more so than men do, because there is a greater population of women on Twitter who have no issues discussing how they feel, going at somebody, whether it's women at men, women at other women, you know what I'm saying? Like, I definitely feel like women are a lot more vocal on Twitter than men are. Why? That's that's a that's really a question for the women. Like I can't 
I'm not going to sit here and act like I know because I don't. I think it's more, I guess, a safe space for them because, I mean, realistically, everybody probably has like a handful of people they could go to. And at some point in time, there's a shift where it's like, okay, even though we know we probably shouldn't, we're going to seek more validation from more people. And social media, I feel like, is where a lot of people get that validation. Not even validation to make themselves feel better, but just to get their point across. Like, for example, um, what was it I seen? What was it I seen? It was something regarding, like, <laughs> shit, he started laughing. Y'all know what that means. Do you, do you have the tweet? There's so many I could bring up. Okay. That's the craziest part. Like I couldn't, I couldn't pick one. Do you bookmark them? No, I just like them. Like my likes are full of crazy. If you think shit. it's like topic worthy, mm-hmm. bookmark it. Okay. So we'll chop it up. Gotcha. Yeah. Come back to it. Yeah. Like, but yeah, there's plenty of instances where I can think of. It's just you know, in the moment when you try to think of something, it, it never want to come up. It always like it stay yeah. hidden. But and then as soon as we get done recording, oh yeah, it'll come to mind. Definitely, yeah. most definitely. But I mean, yeah. I think it's more so not, like, it's for validation, but just from, like, a larger group of people, from a larger population. I'm not a fan of it. Fan of what? Seeking validation on social media? The way that women do it. <laughs> Damn, we're about to get so much heat. Fuck it. Um, and I'll, I'll explain why. A dude does something. Woman in the comments is on some like, see, this is why men, and proceed to list the reasons of why it's hard for a woman to find a good man or whatever the case may be, right? (laughs) Woman, let's say, did the same thing that man did. The replies is going to be justification as to why a woman did it. But whenever a man did it, it was an issue. It's like... The math isn't mathing. For example, um, women post, uh, post like, a body picture. Okay. Whatever. You know, she's a fairly large woman. Nothing okay. Nothing wrong with that. Um, but she replies to her own tweet. She's like, oh, y'all coming at me for you know, being secure in who I am, you know, like okay. people fat shaming, et cetera, et cetera. Right. A man does it. Instantly you see replies from women saying, Oh, you don't look you don't look good either. You know, is this a man and woman's business? But a a woman does it or a woman does it, excuse me. It's like there will be women that disagree with her and there will be women that will agree with her. And I think at this point in time, at my age, based off what I've seen, it's a pick and choose your battles kind of thing for me personally. Like, I'm not willingly going to go put I myself. I want all the smoke. That, that's you. You can have your mentions blown up. I've dealt with that at one point. It's not always easy. I be chilling on Twitter, though, because I know how I get. Mm-hmm. So I be chilling, but... Like, the urge is very strong. Oh, definitely. Definitely. The urge to just start controversy and just watch, like, the house burn It's down. not even controversy. It's oh. just more so, like... <laughs> <laughs> you, y'all seen the, the, the meme or whatever? You are so dumb. You are so... Like, that's literally all it is. <laughs> you are so dumb. And I just want to respond to let you know how dumb you are. You know, yeah. but like I said, I'm not a fan. Um, the seeking of validation, I don't get it. But I think at some point, like everybody does it, knowingly or unknowingly, I feel like we all do it. Is that healthy? Point. It's not healthy when you realize it and you do it and it becomes what makes you a person like if you have to seek validation to justify who you are as a person, that's when it becomes unhealthy. Wow. 
why 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 do we seek validation everybody wants to be loved everybody wants to know that they have somebody it's human nature I think that's all it boils down to. Like, as isolated as people are, as, you know, you know, antisocial as, you know, people are, you know, sometimes people just don't want to go out. Sometimes people just don't like fucking with other people. You know, it happens. I feel like it happens to everybody. But there is a point in time where we get tired of just being alone with our thoughts. And we need someone there to either vent, to validate our feelings and social media unfortunately is the platform that we all tend to use i'm not even gonna say like some people we all use it at some point in time so i don't know how to feel about that yeah it's it's the realization is tough when it comes when when it boils down to it the realization that we use social media in some form or fashion for validation. Yeah, it's not easy. But that's a part of growth. Like, weeding out the things that aren't healthy. That's so bad. Damn. There's a lot of bad shit we do on a day-to-day. Be better, motherfuckers. Be better. Niggas gonna catch heat for that. Be better. <laughs> <laughs> I checked Aaron's like tweets, y'all. The Speak- shit he the shit he got in there. Speaking of like tweets, Doc Rivers is a freaky individual. Is is it still up there? Probably not. If it is, I'd genuinely be surprised. You were the one who told me about that, right? I was. And I went to go see for myself. That that's a sick I went dude. and looked as soon as you told me. That's a sick dude. But like he was getting right though. <laughs> <laughs> he was you don't know? Okay, well I TikTok has been in this. I kind of can't say <laughs> say it verbatim, but I'm gonna need you to put two and two together. Um, he was he was he on his like tweets. He had some some videos. Yeah, but it wasn't like normal. No like, normal like unadulterated videos. It was like some freaky deaky unadulterated videos. Like like freaky deaky. No like. It was it. like freaky deaky. Damn. Was it worse than that? No. I don't know. It wasn't, right? In that boat. It was in that boat, though. In that boat. I wonder if the mic picked him up. I, I didn't hear him over the headset. Hmm. Yeah, Doc Rivers, was. that was pretty foul. Freaky deaky. Yeah, that was pretty foul. But I feel like... <laughs> He in the league, man. He trying to win the championship. He don't get time to, you know, be with his wife or anything. You know what I'm saying? So he got to do what he got to do. He just got caught. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Talk about validation. That's crazy. That's not the type of validation you want. That's crazy. You best believe there's a percentage of the population that's like, yeah, let that man get right. You know what I'm saying? You know, 40 days, 40 nights. <laughs> you know what I'm saying bro, It's not the know. second time you said that <laughs> <laughs> What is wrong with you bro Three miles bridges man yeah. Anyways Yeah 40 days 40 nights Um, Bro just Relief It's stressful being an NBA head coach I can imagine It's stress in life period Yeah, but it's like, You know some people have their outlets Like shit for me Hoop is my outlet Hoop is your outlet. Yeah. Why do you love basketball? Ah, uh, why do I love the game of ball? I think it's more so just everything that ties into it from the competition, from you know the skill work, from you know getting better, from watching people perform at a high level, like, and that shit inspires you to go out and. Get better. Mm-hmm. I think is all of. I think the most important part for me is like just the getting better part. Right. I think that's what does it for me. That's why I love the game of basketball because there's always I feel like there's always room for improvement because we see each and every year you know NBA champion, 
You know what I'm saying? Apparently, we the best league in the world. There's Euro Basket. You know what I'm saying? There's, BAL now. Yeah, there's leagues in Japan, et cetera, et cetera. But everybody's trying to make it to the NBA, and we get to watch these people. We get to watch Braun night in, night out. You know, put up twenty, twenty two, and seven. That shit is crazy. But it's like even watching, you know, from Jimmy, Jimmy Jordan Butler do what he did to Giannis. You know, gentleman sweep, which is absolutely insane. Watching shit like that, it makes you want to go out and play. It makes you want to go out and hoop. So, that's why I love you. Other than it, you know, becoming being a childhood trauma, turning into, you know, my own passion and love and appreciation for it. But yeah, yeah, it's different for me. Why you love the game of basketball? I'm gonna try to make this make sense. A parent and their child. Mm-hmm. There's, there's love there, right? There's, there's love there. Unconditional. I was gonna say that word, but I was watching. Uh, I forgot his name, and they talked about unconditional love, and his definition made me like hesitate on saying the word. Mm-hmm. But I think it is unconditional. Like you can be mad at your folks, but like deep down, you know, like. Like, it's... It's up about them. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. so, like, with that in mind, right? Basketball is, for me, this is me personally, basketball outside of my parents has been the one thing that it always boils back to. What I mean by that, if I get bad at my mom, okay, cool. Let me go talk to my dad. If I get mad at my dad, okay, cool. Let me talk to my sister. If we all mad at each other, go hoop. Go hoop. But at some point, like, we'll be okay. Yeah. Right? Me and my girl going through it. I can't go to my girl and, you know, talk to her, right? Yeah, you can go to your folks, but if y'all not cool, right, the hoop is there, right? Mm-hmm. Basketball has been the one thing where, like, it, sh- like, it showed me what love is. So, like, I mean, I don't even know how to describe this, bro. You mad at the game at ba- of basketball, mm-hmm. but you're going to play basketball. Like, if that's not love, like, tell me what is. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm I'm pissed. Like, bro, what the hell you mean? Like, I didn't get no PT. What? Nah, nah, nah. I got to go hoop, bro. I got to get right. This is unacceptable. Like, like what the, what the fuck? This is, this is absolutely unacceptable. I didn't get no PT? Nah, nah, nah. I got to go hoop. Get PT. Play garbage. Man, I, I, this, I worked at this basketball thing. Put in my all. Finally got PT. Played garbage. Let me go who? Let me go who? Yeah. My girl not there. Mom is mad. Sister's being a sister. <laughs> Let me, get Let me go who? Let me go who? Yeah. Basketball's the one thing that, like, I could always fall back on. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? World falling apart. 52 missing assignments. Failing eight classes. Where's Aaron at? Oh, he in the gym. You get what I'm saying? Um, That's why I love it. The cherry on top, this came like now, now that I'm older, and it'll probably happen again once I get older. The stuff I'm learning from basketball that isn't related to basketball at all is actually kind of crazy. Like what? I'm a visual learner. I didn't know that. I always thought that, like, if I hear something, I'm cool. I can catch on it, and boom, it'll go from there, right? Mm -hmm. Basketball, uh, see somebody do something, right? Okay, let me try to go do it or whatever. Whether I get there or not, cool, whatever. Um, Film, right? 
being able to see what goes on, right? Being able to play it back at my pace, right? In a way, in in the manner that I can understand, right? Now, visually, I've seen that at a pace that I can understand. When I step on the court, now I'm looking at it differently, right? Now, I translate that to life. I'm a visual learner, right? Okay, they come to you at work. Aaron, uh, we need you to start doing A, B, C, D, right? Okay, cool. Um, can you show me how to do it, right? Show you how to do it. It sticks like like that, right? It sticks like that. Um, next day, whatever it is, I'm able to do it just fine. But you come, hey, Aaron, we need you to do A, B, C, D, and this is how you do A, B, C, D. I'm going to start doing it, bro. It's, I'm chopped. Mm -hmm. (laughs) But if I see it visually, like, I'm cool. I don't know what it is about visual, but I did not know I was a visual learner until, until basketball. Yeah. So that's, that's just an example of some of the things that it's taught me. It taught me what love is. Like, whenever I I get with somebody, Mm -hmm. I'm going to know I love this girl whenever she pissed me off, but like, I want to work this shit out. Like that, okay. I love this girl. Mm. You get what I'm saying? It's taught. It's, the amount of shit it's taught me is crazy. Like the amount of people I've met, bro. We, we probably met. would never have met if it wasn't for a freaking basketball. Yeah. Y'all wouldn't be watching this right now if it wasn't for a basketball. Think about that, bro. And the way we met, it was crazy. Like. I, I have just, we ever talked about this on camera? Mm-mm. We haven't. Yeah. Go ahead. So, I moved here like late March, early April, twenty twenty one, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I find the nearest gym. I go hoop. I don't got a job yet. You know what I'm saying? I don't know nobody. I'm just in the gym looking for runs. I meet this dude. His name Bob. Bob, great friend of ours. He's gonna be on the pod. Yeah, I, yeah. I talked to him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's gonna be on the pod. Uh, when we gotta figure out a date, but he's gonna be on the pod. Nice. And fiance says she's down too. Oh, bet. Yeah. So couples episode. Yeah. Okay. Let's get Bob Bob on a separate one, and then let's do them both on the. Yeah, let's do that. Nice. Yeah. So I meet Bob, right? Uh. I'm hooping and whatnot. We exchange information. The way the story was told to me was Bob goes to work the next day. He works with Aaron. Tell, no, no, no. Tell it from your perspective. I'm going to tell it from my perspective, and then we'll tie it in. Okay. Yeah. So I meet Bob. <laughs> next day, I go hoop. Next day or probably like two days later, I go hoop again. This nigga Aaron pulls up. Me, I'm chill, like, but I'm also the type of Uber. I like to put on a show. I'm an entertainer at heart. You know what I'm saying? I like to get, you know, folks on the sideline into it. I like to talk shit, et cetera, et cetera. I'm, I'm one of them. Not to say I do it for the fans, but I do it for the fans. I do it for the hype. I'm a showman. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I still give you buckets, though. Give him buckets, bro. Give him buckets. Let him know. Straight like that. You know, it's funny. You call people out asking for smoke and nobody commented yet. At all. Duckin? Hey. That's neither here nor there. I'm chilling. You know what I'm saying? Games. You know what I'm saying? Niggas running. I'm on the court. This nigga Aaron gets on the court. Apparently, this nigga Bob was like, oh, yeah, this nigga, you know, he plays similar to you, blase, blase. This nigga wasn't going for it. So this nigga, he he mad aggressive. Like me, I'm just chilling because, you know, I'm Busting niggas' asses. I'm just chilling. This nigga comes. This nigga come on the court mad hype, mad aggressive. You know what I'm saying? Full court pressing. Nigga like Pat Bev. Nigga just the fucking thorny outside. I'm like, all right, bro. I turn up. You know what I'm saying? Show niggas what's up. And from there, it was just like, it was a mutual respect. Like, not saying I bust this nigga ass. Because I, I let him tell his side of the story, but. 
you know, after that, after the who sets, it was just nothing but respect. And then from there, you know what I'm saying, we just kicked it. Every day we go hoop, go chop it up, chill, and we here now. So it was literally like, it was so crazy because me, I don't go looking for smoke, but I know smoke will come find me just by, me. like, the way I talk. Better than me. I'm one, I'm not from, <laughs> one, I'm not from here. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm coming at niggas left and right. Niggas like, yo, who the, who the fuck is this Who nigga? is this dude? Right, yeah, right, You know right. what I'm saying? Like, I'm not no bitch. Better than me. I'm not no bitch. I'll go at anybody. So, niggas, some niggas, they respect that. Some niggas take offense to it. At the end of the day, it's hoops. So, I'm here to get better. So That's my thing. I, I'm glad you, you said that. So I've always wanted to get better, right? Uh, even in high school, like seeing like the top guys at my high school, like I wanted to be like them, like they know that. Shit, um, you better than me. I wanted to show everybody I was better than them niggas because I knew I was better. I wasn't than nice though, like I I can admit that I wasn't nice. I wasn't nice either. So like, I still never admit like that I wanted to be like them niggas. I wanted to be better than them niggas because I already knew fair. I was better. Than Okay, I see where you're coming from. You know what I'm saying? But that's just me. It was one dude, though. No, it was one dude, like, it was just a respect, like, outside of the basketball thing. He he knows who he is. Buddy, I told you, was the hardest to guard for me? I think I remember. Yeah, shout out to Ray. Shout out to Ray. That nigga, bro. Ray was a problem, for me at least. I'm not gonna say for everybody else, but for me, Ray was a problem. I wanted to be, I wanted to be like him. You get what I'm saying? So, <laughs> nah, much of this crazy. Chill out, chill out, bro. <laughs> Damn, chill out, <laughs> chill out, bro. So, uh, to <laughs> to. Tie the stories together. So graduate high school, like we said. It's crazy we're, like, talking about high school and all this because it, like, ties together a little bit. Graduated high school. Uh, after high school, bro, I was done hooping. Like, bro, it, it was – I was over it for a multitude of reasons. So didn't touch a ball for a while. Uh, Bob – I meet Bob. Fast forward. Bob is – um. On he's on the, he's in the league right he's trying to get right right mind you I ain't never worked out with nobody in my life I'm like come work out with me right he he thinking I'm playing you know how I be he thinking I'm playing but I'm like so serious like nah like come work out with me I ain't never worked out with nobody in my life all of a sudden I'm telling this this nigga to come work out with me right after some time he comes work out with me uh. It was good. It w- it was good. He ended up doing good in his league. Uh, fast forward, now there's, like, respect there. And, like, you know, we peep the similarities, things we have in common, et cetera, et cetera. We grew up in the same neighborhood. Um, we were, like, brought up the same way, like, stuff like that. So tell him some of the goals or whatever or, yeah. Fast forward, he comes to me one day like, yo, you should pull up to the gym, local gym or whatever. Uh, there's this dude there. I think, you know, y'all would hit it off. Like, he has some of your same goals. He's kind of in the same position that you're in as far as, like, life and stuff. Y'all should, y'all should meet. Y'all, y'all chop it up or whatever, right? Every this day. You took offense to that. No, 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 no. I was, this is what I took offense to. Every day after that. That I wouldn't go until I went, but he has some good to say about Zay. Man, me and Zay on the court, we wooty woo wooty woo boo 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 boo. And if y'all know Bob, the way Bob tells stories, oh my goodness. So like, I'm like, bro, who 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 is this dude? You like you talking about, right? Respectfully, respectfully, I'm thinking this motherfucker six six, two o five. Wide frame, jumping out the gym, super athlete, right? And Edwards type build, Crazy. right? Finally, I pull up to the gym. I'm in there chill, just chilling, right? I, I ain't paid no mind. 
But in the back of my mind, I was like, whoever this Isaiah motherfucker is, don't let him show up today. It's up for him. I promise you it's up for him. I'm chilling or whatever. I, I think I'm like tying my shoes or something. All I heard Bob say was, oh, yo, what's up, Zay? Them antennas hit up. Is this motherfucker? This, this nigga like 6'2"? He like 170? This this the nigga this the nigga he talking about, right? So I'm like, nah, it's cool. Let's just hoop, right? You you don't take you don't you don't judge by appearances and in, in hoop. You never know, right? So we start hooping, and I don't remember the runs exactly, but I do remember, like you said, it was like competing, right? Um, but the one thing I'll never forget, and this is where I, this is where like, I was like, okay, I like, I like this guy. Pause. Like this dude's cool. We're playing fives, bro. And it's a good game. We turn that shit into a one-on-one. Turn that shit into a one-on-one. We come down. We come, they come down. I get a bucket. They come down. He starts, he clears out, yo, go ahead, go through. And then, like, you know, he, he's taking the one, and then for whatever reason, like, I, I felt like you were about to pass out of it. I don't know why, but I'm like, hey, bump that, bro. Let's have fun. And he looks at me, and he's like. When he said that, I was like, all right, let's rock. You get what I'm saying? Buddy called for the ball back. He's like, okay, let's have fun. He gets a bucket. And I'm like, okay, like y'all this remember, is this is what I like. Like y'all remember Tim Hardaway Jr. and Dion Waiters? That's what that was. That's, that's a that perfect was. example. That's, that's that literally was. what that was. And I told him like, yo, like let's have fun. So we go back and forth. I don't even. Rem- I, I I feel like I won the fives. I don't remember what happened. I won. It's cool. I won. We run ones after, mind you. I don't run ones like that, bro. So we run once after. No, you didn't. I didn't win. Not the ones. <laughs> I remember. I remember that vividly. <laughs> that one I remember vividly. Uh, we run the ones. It was cool. Then afterwards, like you said, it just it just went from there, bro. It blossomed into a beautiful friendship. That's crazy, dog. A brotherhood. Damn, that's cr- from a basketball. The game. The game. The game works wonders. It's really all I can chop it up. That's to. crazy, bro. Yeah, bro. It's life. You got me reminiscing and shit. That's little, crazy. Little trip down memory lane for y'all. Yeah. About how this came to be. It's crazy, but bro. Next topic. Let's 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 dive into some more pressing matters. Because we need to talk about we got a lot to talk about National Basketball Association. We got a lot to talk about. We need to talk about that shit. First and foremost, our predictions scratch every single one of them. Yo, real quick, guys, just make sure that you hit that subscribe button. It is very, very free. Also, make sure you follow us on Instagram at chop shop pod underscore chop shop pod underscore. We appreciate it. Much love. NBA playoffs. Let's talk about it, bro. Damn. Um, <laughs> predictions, first and foremost, let's throw those out the fucking window. Um, All of them. Every single one of them. With that being said, today is April 27th at the time of us uh, filming this for for context. Um, currently, it is game six of the Hawks uh, Celtics. Celtics series. I had them getting swept. I had Celtics in five. Trey blew that out the water. Yep. Was that a bad shot? Or... Was that bad defense Don't start or the bad a great shot, shot stuff? That's a bad. Was shot. it? Or the PG. You said was it a Good great shot. shot or bad defense? I personally think it was. A what shot. was the score? Celtics were up one. It was like one nineteen. The Celtics were up one. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna say it was bad defense, but it could have been guarded better. 
what makes it tough though is that he caught it in the back court and he gets a full head of steam at you. Fair. That's what makes it tough. But knowing knowing the score now, like just ride him. Fair. You get what I'm saying? Go hands up. Pause. Yeah, Paul. Paul. Wow. Pause that. Wow. Yeah. Um, stay on his hip. Right. It's Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown's like what six 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 seven. Trey right. Young's like what six he, one. He hit a contested thirty footer over you for a game. Like he got it. Stay on the hip. Uh, you know that when Trey gets to the rim, he likes to veer in. Right. If so anything makes somebody else beat you. You get what I'm saying? But I don't think it was bad defense. It could have been guarded better for sure. This was a great fucking shot. But damn. Yeah. What a way. He hit that, bro. What a way. What a way to go out. I straight a gang. If he doesn't hit that, what? Celtics in five? Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that's that series. That prediction was wrong. Um, let's stay in the one. east. Let's stay in the east. One eight, Miami, Milwaukee, Hemi buckets. We're, we're gonna come back to him. Uh, I I got some things I gotta uh, read you. I got you. Uh, what was the other one? Four Knicks, or five. Knicks, Cavs. Knicks, Cavs. Uh, honestly, honestly, the Cavs disappointed me. Uh, um, why? Jared Allen, Evan Mobley. Uh, they are now known as the sons of Mitchell Robinson. <laughs> Mitchell Robinson was dogging them boys. You know, Julius Randle, not even 100%, playing on a sprained ankle, giving them niggas buckets night in, night out. Jalen Brunson, the best free agent signing easily this offseason. You think so? Easily. Considering what he's done for the Knicks, considering how they've played, considering what they just did to the Cavaliers, who have been a good team all around. This whole year, defensively, weren't they? I was about to say, weren't they like top five defense? Yeah, bro. He Tor- just torched them. Look. Yeah, he just. That's why I be trying to tell GG pull up to Dallas, bro. Like we'll show y'all. I see why he ducking now, is, bro. I see why he ducking now. I'm letting Jalen Brunson give you fucking thirty, bro. Jalen, I don't. Not even taking away anything from Jalen Brunson, but it's like it's Jalen Brunson, bro. Uh, hold on, I'm trying to find. Jalen Brunson is now eight and three. Against Donovan Mitchell in playoff games and two and zero in series, in series wins. Really? Yeah. He beat him. <laughs> he beat him. New York versus Cleveland, and then he beat him. Dallas versus Utah. Damn. Yeah. It's bad. Luck. How much of this is also on DG though? A lot of it. You know, well, if we're gonna I call it spade. Not a lot of it, but okay. especially since considering what we saw in the regular season. Granted, it's two different games, right? But for you guys to be a higher seed. A top ranked defense, right? Um, DG average. What did DG average this year? Like twenty and eight, if I'm not mistaken. Um, three, four, something like that. He averaged. He averaged twenty one, three and eight. Yeah. Shot forty one percent from three and forty six from the field. He had a great season. So to go from that to what we just saw. Where Buddy is shooting, like, tour dates. Like, bro. Four of, what was it, 19, four of 21. It's bad, bro. But first playoff series, relatively young team, you know. Experience matters. Experience does matter, but, like, we're blessed that basketball or the playoffs – it's in the pros at least. It's not when you go home. Like you get best of four, bro, or best of seven. I mean, yeah. so like adjust. I didn't. I can't say that I saw too many adjustments that the Cavs made. Like I don't. I don't get it. I feel like Isaac doesn't help them on the offensive end. Having two bigs that clog the lane consistently when you. Both of your primary scorers are slashers. Granted, they can shoot, but they'd rather get to the rack, especially DG throwing lobs. Right, know, right. He can play make out of it. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's tough. It's very tough. Limited spacing. You know, Karis LeVert is a cone. 
inconsistent yeah. on offense. You know, they had they had all the pieces. It was just boils down to experience and consistency. I feel like for them. So yeah, uh, so we were right about three six. Well, I was right about three six for Philly Brooklyn. Sadly, I know that's your team, but I was right. Next topic. Uh, four, five, one, eight, two, seven. We st- were watching, three, six, one, eight, one, eight. Hit me buckets. What the hell, bro? <laughs> <laughs> That's yep. Uh huh. Ever since last night, bro, I've been waiting to talk about this today. Zay said he couldn't shoot, y'all. Y'all remember that? Zay said he couldn't shoot, bro. Roll the clip. Zay said this motherfucker couldn't shoot. He then proceeds to win the game, uh, win, win, win game three, right? That might have been the one Giannis didn't play. So cool. Okay, whatever. Understandable. Giannis come back game four, 56, bro. He ain't getting 56 off just layups. Yeah, he was taking some tough-ass three-pointers. I'll give him that. The next game, bro, this motherfucker had, what did he have last night, bro? He had 40? He not getting 42 off of just layups and free throws, bro. Just because niggas hit a couple games doesn't mean they can shoot. I'm going to just put that out there. I think with... It's cool. Jimmy... Not taking anything away from what Jimmy has done. I'm just calling it how it is. Jimmy Butler is not a shooter. No, that's fair. That's fair. He is a bucket getter. So he hits shots when they're needed. He hits tough-ass shots. That shot to send the game into OT yesterday... Uh, I'm glad you brought it up, but we can't, I can't show you your DM anymore. Damn, that's crazy. I'm well, going pl- to put it over, I'm going to put it over this. Did you see the, the end of the play? Or not the end of the play, did you see the play itself? Yeah. What right. do you think about it? The lob inbounds over two niggas. Yeah. Could, easily could have been an offensive foul. Okay, that's what I wanted you to get at. I think it was a foul. The way he pushed him? Yeah. Yeah. Um... But but that's what that's something that's also been a topic of discussion, the refs taking over the game. I felt like it was a good no call. You call that shit. Series is going back to what Miami for Game Six. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel like it was a good no call. No, you can't say that. Why not? Because if you're Milwaukee, your response is different. It's, it's simply shot a, 23 free throws. I'm not hearing that shit. No, 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 no. Okay. I'm yeah. Not hearing that. No, no, that's true. Make your free throws, y'all win the game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. But I didn't make the free throws. The matter of the fact is, like, as a referee, your job is to call the game honest. Okay? Granted, things like a crowd and, and things like, like foul trouble and time and stuff like that play a factor. But you get paid to call the game as you see it. In a crucial moment like that, that You're calling call, that foul? Are you? Me? No, no, no. We all know me. We all know me. I'm not calling that shit. Thank you. Hell no, I'm not calling that shit. Thank you. But I think because of how blatant that one is, you got to call that shit. Yeah. And it's for game, bro. I disagree. I disagree. It was a great no call. That's tough, bro. If he calls that, well, okay. Did uh, were Tell, they in the bonus? I don't know. Telling Drew Holiday, I own you. Down six with two minutes left. Did you see what Giannis had to say about Drew's performance, though? What did he had to say? And what he said made perfect sense, y'all. Like, yes, Giannis. We could say Giannis could have used some help offensively. Um, Chris Middleton came back. Chris Middleton did his shit. He did his shit, but Drew, I feel like, would have been cherry on top. And I, I say this shit every. No, 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 no. But hear me out though. When you having a guard, the best player on the other team, right, and then you're still expected to contribute offensively, it's tough, bro. He's gonna get tired. Jimmy did it. Jimmy's different. <laughs> Jimmy's different, bro. But let's be, bro. Zay, let's be honest, bro. Let's say, let's be honest for real. You got to, and think about it, Jimmy's guarding him too. So I'm saying, it's not like he got, he got some bum 
checking him that he can, you know, just do what he... You get what I'm saying? Like, it's cake. Those are tough buckets. Every single one, bro. Every single one. So, he having to try to score on this motherfucker. Like Jared Allen said, the lights just be too bright. No, it has nothing... He's tired, dog. He's tired. Big-time players make big-time plays. And Jimmy's a big-time player. Drew isn't. I've been saying this shit for years. For years. You almost made me smash my head into this mic. For years. How about not? Bro. He does this shit every year. No, stop. Don't let Drew Holiday fool y'all. Bro, bro. St- <laughs> Don't let Drew fool y'all. Drew does this shit every year. Bro, no, no, stop, stop, stop. You're going to stop disrespecting Drew, bro. I'm not disrespecting Drew. I'm calling it how it is. Zay, he's charged with guarding the best player every single day and having to score. Tell me another superstar having to do it. Jimmy. Give me another one. You could say D. Mitch. Cap. D. Mitch is guarding the best player on the team every single night and expected, and is still expected to score? You said Hell Drew, no. You said Drew's the best player? Or are you talking about Jimmy? Drew guarding Jimmy. Drew is, Drew is tasked with having to guard the best player on the opposing team and still contribute offensively Kawhi. every single night. Kawhi, two. Can you give me three? PG. No. They on the same team. They both can't check the same player. Yeah. Each team doesn't have at least no, two no, 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 no. Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown's not a superstar. Jalen Brown's not a superstar. Jalen Brown's a superstar? Let's go ahead and define, define what is a, super, a superstar. Kyrie's a superstar? Fuck no. No, no. <laughs> I forget. I can't ask you nothing about this, Nick. Huh? You can't. Um, Clay Thompson is a superstar? Coming out of his prime? Yeah. Right now, Clay Thompson is a superstar. No, he's an all star. What is the difference in roles between Clay Thompson and. Uh, and who? Uh, who was the original person we we're talking about? Was it Drew? Clay's the second option. Drew's the third. Yeah. I take Clay. Superstar's the first. Okay. And when your superstar is performing and y'all losing, y'all got to step up. Chris Middleton stepped up for them. The point I'm making. The Warriors third? The point I'm making. All-star, superstar, Draymond. We've seen what Draymond did. Draymond drops a bonus. The point I'm making. Draymond produced. Draymond can't shoot. The point I'm making. Draymond had more than Drew had last night. Oh, my God, bro. Zay, you have to guard the best player every single night. You telling me you still going to be able to average 20, bro? Be honest, Zay, especially at our position. You're telling me Drew was matched up with Jimmy the whole game? No. But he was he was matched up with him for five games. That's a lot for anybody. Actually, okay, Fox. and then you're telling me you still gonna drop twenty? De'Aaron Fox is doing it, but I'm saying De'Aaron Fox isn't a champion. Yes, bro. that's what separates like good from great. But at some point, we have to like give him the benefit of the doubt. When you do this shit year in and year out, it becomes like what it is. It is what it is. Paul George choking in the playoffs, pandemic P, playoff P, way off P. That's what it is, bro. Stop laughing, bro. No, but it's facts. If every year you're put in a position to take your team to the finals, if every year you're put in a position or you put yourself in a position to win a championship and you crumble, you fold, you crack under pressure when your team needs you, and you do that shit consistently for multiple years, that's what it is. Every single so series. The, cir- the circumstance of your you cracking doesn't mean anything? The reason behind why you're folding under pressure, the reason behind why you're not able to perform, that doesn't hold any weight. It's just the fact that you're folding. Yeah. Wow. It's that simple? To be honest. I disagree. Really, Realistically, for me, it boils down to this. Drew Holiday is an NBA champion. Before player, before, <laughs> I was about to say player, before Paul George, or Carmelo Anthony. 
before D. Rose, before James Harden, before Russell Westbrook, before Chris Paul, that we can arguably say all of those players are better than Drew. I mean, realistically, we can't say that now because he has a chip. But all of those players, and Hoopers will agree, those are better players than Drew Holiday. Right? Like you said, some of them is arguable, but I get your point. My point is, every single season that the Bucks lose in the playoffs before they get to the finals, every first round exit, second round exit, third round exit, whatever the case may be, we can look at the Bucks and their stats and we can see Drew Holiday failed to produce. I can't say there's one game where the Giannis hasn't is come. Tired, through. bro. I can't say there's one. I can say there's probably a couple games where Chris Middleton hasn't come through. But for Drew Holiday, it's almost a yearly occurrence. The motherfucker is tired, bro. It's that simple. So what the fuck is the offseason for? What the fuck is film for? Is he going to have an offseason in the middle of of the fucking playoffs? You're preparing. You go through the regular season playing playing these people, right? I think I'm I'm not explaining well. I'm not trying to justify his performance, okay? No, for real, bro. I'm not trying to justify his performance. All I'm saying is that, like, I guess we're considered the media now, huh? I feel like the media is going to paint the notion that you're painting that he just didn't come through. But the reason why he didn't come through, I feel like, is very important as to why he didn't come through. Like, if we're going to tell the story, I feel like we should tell the whole story, bro. That's that's all I'm saying. And that's fair. That's all I'm saying, bro. That's fair. Fatigue does play a role in it. You have to guard Jimmy Butler on a night-in, night-out basis. 56, bro. 56, 56 of that. But, minutes. like, 56 tough ones, though. That shit is tiring, dog. Yeah. And Drew be sitting. But they lose. Yeah, bro. I don't I don't want to say it's more so on Drew's defense or his lack of production than it is on Jimmy's excess production. Yeah, but Jimmy Jimmy did his shit. With no Tyler Hero and with Bam turning into the Nigerian Rudy <sighs> Gobert. <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy, do what he had to do. Send me that meme. They gotcha. gotta see it. I got you. Yeah, send me that. Yeah. So with that, uh, before we get on to the West, so is that? So, are we can agree that Jimmy well, just simply just outplayed them? Yeah, we can. We can agree to that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, <laughs> nigga Walt, bro. Um, let's t- move to the West. One eight. One and eight was oh, T Wolves, T Wolves, and Nuggets. Yeah. Ah, uh, I mean, Ant did what he could. And do what he could. That charge coming against Ant for uh, allegedly assaulting those two women. The women didn't get hit. They just looking for a check. The the angle you sent me and the the original angle, it looks like he hit him. The angle you sent me today, just flinched. Yeah, he he didn't even touch him. But I I don't I don't get it. They just trying to get paid. Well, what time is it? Is your phone still dead? Nine fourteen. Okay. Fourteen. Cool. Um. Yeah, I thought they were going to get swept, too. That's another one I had getting swept. Yeah, uh, the way Ant was playing, yeah. I'm pretty sure Ant, Jimmy, and MJ are all related. I think we definitely need to, you know. And me? Dive into that. Yeah, you could be like a, you know, third, fourth cousin. Cousin. (laughs) (laughs) Damn, fourth cousin, bro? Damn. If it's in you, you got that dog in you. You got that dog in you. You know what I'm saying? You right, you right. Um, yeah, we were wrong about that one too. Um yeah, I thought they were getting swept, but like you said, and 
pulled some shit out of his fucking bag, bro. He can hoop, though. He can go. He can really go. And was in my bag. Yeah. Then turn around. Maybe he's in the post over Jamal Murray talking shit. Yeah. Only to lose the game. It's tough buckets. Has he pulled? That's you, Number huh? Three tough buckets. What I say? He ain't, he ain't even zip up the bag once he got done, huh? He just rummaging through my shit. Pencils, paper, notepads, glue sticks. Come on, bro. We know your mama taught you manners, bro. Taking everything. You put stuff back where you found it. Yeah, at least say on. please. Like, damn. Thank you. Some shit. Something. Come on, bro. Lock in. But, uh, two seven. Two uh, seven was who? Uh, oh, Memphis and LA. 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 I said Memphis and seven. What did I say? LA and six. I don't know. I had L.A. regardless, though. Roll the clip. I had L.A. regardless. I know that. Yeah. Um, no, I did say L.A. and six because I said they were going to steal another one on the road. F- failed to do that. It's a parade. Shut it's up. It's my city. Yeah. What's 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 old dude's name? Light skin. Shooter. Broad shoulders. Dylan Brooks. <laughs> the one who can play. Desmond Bain. That nigga built like a T Rex. He can go though, but he can go. Yeah, bro, like bro, mass wolf. But away. he can go though, bro. Body disproportionate as hell. But he can go. Yeah, that's cool, bro. Them little stubby ass arms. He give you forty. He will not give me forty. He give. You, can we have a segment of who would give you forty, and we pick of the players who like perform the best throughout the week? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, we're gonna start doing that. We can do that. Who would give you 40? No one. All oh, them motherfuckers giving you 40, no respectfully. One. No one. Jimmy is giving you fucking 40. No, he's not. Shit. I'll foul out before he give me 40. I'll foul out before he give me 20. Damn, you're not even going for it, huh? Hell no. Not I'm even not giving niggas a chance. Yeah, I'm not mad at it. You do what you, you want to do. won't even get the chance. <laughs> going for it. Yeah. Well, predict My prediction, at least, yours still, still has a chance. Yeah. Mine's was wrong. Uh, three six. Kings Three. Warriors. Warrior, I said Warriors in seven. I said Warriors in six. And they won last night. Yeah. And they going back to uh, Golden State. I was about to say Oracle. I miss Oracle Arena, bro. Low key, me too. It was a vibe. Oracle Arena, the Roracle. It was a vibe. That was a vibe. Whose fans are better? Oracle Arena or Sacramento? Oracle, easily. You think so? Oracle been doing this shit for no, decades. Oh, remember when we was on the game and I was playing that clip continuously? Yeah, bro, that's cool. That's one time. We've seen Oracle do it multiple times. No, 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 bro, 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 bro. No, not taking anything away from Sacramento. Them Sac that fans? Clip, that clip lit. was crazy. Herder for the lead. Lit. I'm talking about the mics nearly bust. Lit, bro. What? But Oracle, like, they have a sound meter in the arena and they... Easily going over 100 decibels every night. Regular season. Not even playoffs. Regular season. You've been in there? You've been to the, you've been to the Roracle? This was when Harden was on the Rockets? Oh, shit. That was lit. Damn. When did you, when did you do that? Oh, so it, he was hooping, hooping. This motherfucker got to see KD, Harden, Steph, Clay, Dre. He said Uber, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. That, that was when they had CP3 or Russ? 2018 was CP3. CP3, right? CP3 is a generational choker. Oh, here we go, bro. We're going to get into that, though. Bro. CP3 will do nothing Zay, I'm starting all to think that you a hater for real. I am. But, like, why? Because when the facts are made obvious, is it really hating? CP3 will do nothing for three quarters. Then he'll go on a stretch in the fourth when his team has already won the game. He'll score about, you know, eight, ten points, drop a couple dimes. Oh, Chris Paul led the Suns, led the Clippers, led the Rockets. Da, 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 da. Not going for that shit. Why you brought them up? Um, Not going for another it. prediction I was wrong about. I had the Clippers winning that series. Um, Kawhi has a torn meniscus. Real quick. You playing the clip? 
real quick. He about to play the clip. Now, once you do that, you should bring up a clip from Roy. Turn that up for me. Why is there music in the back? They lit, bro. You telling me Oracle was better than this? Yes. Zay. Yes. Back out the box. Game. Short. I got the volume turned down, by the way. I don't know, bro. Oracle. They, they lit in sack. Oracle by a mile, respectfully. <laughs> Um, Clippers Suns. I was wrong about that one too. Um, like you said, Kawhi has a torn meniscus. Stephen A. Smith talking about some of the Clippers should force Kawhi to retire. Stephen A. says that everybody should retire whenever some shit happens. And I'm beginning to see why people are disliking Stephen A. Because it's like at some point, you know, enough is enough, bro. Like you get what I'm saying? Like enough is enough. Like. Kawhi Leonard is the worst superstar we've ever seen. Bro, he has, what, three rings? Is it two or three? It's two. two. San Antonio and Toronto. He don't win two in San Antonio? No. I thought the years they beat Braun, he was, those are years he was playing. No, not that I know of. Well, two, three. Kawhi is a... Bonafide Hall of Fame. He has two. He has two. 2014, 2019. Gotcha. Yeah. Kawhi is a Hall of Famer. Steve, granted, he doesn't play as much as the fans would like. But it's not even about what the fans would like, bro, because we obviously know, like, what the fans want and what. At the end of the, the day, it's a, it's a business. People pay money to see these guys perform. And even at that, bro, it's after hearing J.J. Reddick talk about Kawhi and, like, how meticulous he was in his recovery when – he did what the quad tear, mm-hmm. yeah, bro. My respect for Kawhi, not even just off of that, but just like you know, putting everything, taking everything into account. Kawhi's that dingy. He is, but I need him to play, dog. And when he plays, he performs. He does. I just need him to do that shit in the playoffs. He does. Recently, I haven't seen him in the playoffs in a minute, bro. This year, he was giving buckets. He was going. For two games. Bro, people was like, oh, KD games. versus Kawhi. Oh, KD finna this and that, this, games, and that, this and that, this and that. Bro, Kawhi was on his ass, bro. All I'm saying, no, I, he was hooping. I just want him to to um, play. Like, if they get beat, I want it to be because he, they got outplayed, not because he wasn't available. Fair. And they didn't have PG. Which didn't help at freaking all. They need to re-sign Russ. I firmly, Agreed. I firmly believe that. Um, they run it back for a whole season. They can make some stuff shake. Yeah, yeah. They can and they make actually some stay shake. healthy. Yeah. Do you think they should part ways with Kawhi and PG? I don't no. think so. Hell no. Uh, I don't They're think building so. a new arena. It wouldn't be good for the organization. Business wise. Yeah. Doesn't make sense. Not a good look at all. Yeah, I agree with that. Um. That's what three six four. That five. was four five three six. Golden State sack. We already covered them. Yeah, I said Golden State in six. My it's still up for. Up for debate. Yeah, it's still up for yeah. like it's it's not done yet. Uh, three six four five. Two seven one. Two seven. Okay. And we covered it. We covered it. There's some things that I wanted to to read you though. Um, that I had saved. Um. Well, let me know when it's at nine thirty-five. Oh. I got you. Four seven. All right, trying to be funny. All right, so like, he deleted his tweet. Who? Oh. Wow! Wow! Kevin O'Connor. Well, hit a sound effect. Ke- chill out. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin O'Connor. Uh, he, I don't know if he's an analyst. I don't know. I don't know what he is. 
But yesterday, after like all the big upsets on Twitter, Buddy releases big threads of each team basically explaining like their situation, what they should do going forward, et cetera, et cetera. He did one for the Cavs. He did one for the Clippers. Those are the two I bookmarked. The only thing that says here, um, I'll do the I'll do the Clippers one. Where did the Clippers go from here? This is Kevin O'Connor, by the way, uh, at Kevin O'Connor NBA on Twitter. Like I said, we gotta start quoting people correctly now. It's crazy. The tweet, at least what I see, it says that where did the Clippers go from here? This is the fourth consecutive season. Both Kawhi Leonard and Paul George have struggled to stay healthy. Yeah, it feels like the Clippers would have handled the Suns had they been able to play. But Leonard can't be trusted to stay. Found it. But Leonard can't be trusted. Chill out. My bad. But Leonard can't be trusted to stay on the floor. George himself said he can't lead a title contender as a top option, and time is running out on this roster. Leonard and George have player options to hit free agency in 2024. Nick Batum, Eric Gordon, Marcus Morris, and Covington can also be free agents in 2024. Clippers have a 2023 20, first from the Bucks, and they don't have the rights to any of their first until 2027. Damn. So the roster as a whole is getting older, not under contract for long, and they don't have many trade assets. But there's no doubt this team showed no quit against Phoenix. Russell Westbrook played the best he has in years. The aforementioned role players, plus guys like Norman, Norm Powell and Terrence Mann, bring a lot of good qualities. And T. Lou is easily one of the best coaches in the NBA. There's something to this team with the healthy Leonard and George. Steve Steve Ballmer would love to have a competitive product for the opening of his new stadium in the 24-25 season. But should that be an older contending roster or a young one like they had before? Maybe it'll all depend on who's running the front office. Will ownership take a swing at a big-name exec like Bob Myers? Ballmer needs to do something. It's a big summer ahead for the L.A. Clippers. I agree with that. It's a big summer for them. I agree with that. But everything, I mean, he spoke nothing but facts. Shit is tough, man. It Health. Is. It's a business, bro. Health, like, bro. If it comes down to it, they are going to ship somebody out for somebody. So, <sighs> Yeah, shit is tough, man. It It, it is tough. Um. Yeah, shit is tough. Uh, we're going to wrap this episode up. Um, sorry about the technical difficulties. Just had, had some mishaps um, on the video version uh, for YouTube, at least. We'll figure it out. Um, as far as... Uh, as far as audio goes, everything was okay. Shit, yeah, yep. no issues. One thing I wanted to do... Um, I got to pull it up. I figured, you know, we wouldn't have had this situation. Would have been would have been cool. If I can pull it up. Oh my god. Okay, I don't think I'll be able to pull it up. Um I wanted to do one thing before we left. Uh I wanted to read comments. That's the reason. And respond to them. I got to log in. Hopefully it logs me into the right one. I hope so. Damn, won't. Uh, boom, boom. All right, hopefully it's the wrong, the right one. If not, I, I can go to it. It is the right one. We are good. Okay, cool. Make sure you guys follow us on TikTok at the Chop Shop Pod underscore. Okay, we're gonna start putting a lot of clips and stuff on there. We gonna make a Twitter as well. We're gonna make a Twitter. We're gonna make a Twitter. Um, 
So the f- one clip that we posted, we should have we should have posted more. Um I'll be better. Um he, I mean obviously y'all know what it was, the whole Kobe's not top three, right? <laughs> He's not. Chill out. I'm going to just read through these comments, okay? And then y'all tell me what you think. Should I add these guys? Yeah. Okay. Uh, this isn't their actual tags. It's just like the appearance. I don't know if their tags is TikTok. So, at Co said, this actually isn't the top. All right. Okay. At Chief Runner agreed with you and said real shit. Kobe is, he's basically saying Kobe's not top three. At DMV underscore low. Are they talking about Kobe or Steph? Because I mentioned Kobe. Well, he didn't didn't say, he just said real shit. Okay. At DMV underscore low said, Two free rings and a ring with their second and third best player injured. Not top 10 either way. He's talking about Steph? He's talking about Steph. That's crazy. That's crazy. Uh, That's really crazy. Splooged, at Splooged, response was two free rings. Keep crying. Right? So he's he's on your side in that, in that right? Uh, Robbie Bobby 4 this is the guy. Robbie, you're going to piss me off. He's the one who said cancel this podcast ASAP. Fire emoji. He's the one who said that. Does he hoop? Does he know ball? If he doesn't have anything related to hoops, like. His IG. Is your phone is your phone dead, bro? Nah, forget it. You good. Check it. Check it. No, check it. You want to look at his IG? Yeah. Grab your phone, bro. One thing you go, y'all gonna find out about us is we kind of petty. So here, this is his IG. That right there. That right there. But he said cancel the pod. Why would you say that? Why would you say that, bro? I don't like that. Nah, I don't like that, bro. He he could be working at some, and I wouldn't tell him to cancel it. That shit hurt my feelings, dog. These are conversations that need to be had. So let me see his IG, bro. I was one. Ah, uh, damn. By the way, by Wall's face, it's one of them. It's one of them. Robert Jetter. His bu- <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing. I haven't even seen anything. Promise you. Said you give me that phone. I'm gonna light this little boy up. Look at his. <laughs> give me the phone. Give me the phone. Give me the phone. Give me the his bio says, "Born to shit, forced to white, but in the meantime we chilling." Open parenthesis. Enjoy the gallery of beagles. Close parentheses. Pass this to Zay. Um. I'll spare him. I'll spare him. Uh, Beagles was cute. I'll spare him. Then at Cole and Fat got into a a pretty uh pretty heated debate. Pretty heated debate. Me, I'm taking sides. I was over there liking comments. Oh, that was you? Hell yeah. Oh, I didn't know that was you. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay. I don't even know where to start, bro. It's, it is nine. Nah, we 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 gonna wrap this up. I know, I know you gotta go. I'm gonna just read this. Uh, so at Co said, defense, bro. All top players can play both ways. At Fat said, no one has played defense and changed the game drastically. Curry's offense did. I responded to that, and I was actually like, fair point. That right? is a fair point. Co responded, what? So changing the game, not even for the better, though. Just having a lot of influence just cancels out the fact that he can't defend at a high level. Niggas was debating that AI was top 10 at one point. I remember that. I remember that. Like, let's, let's, <laughs> let's call a spade, bro. Like, come on now. Fat said, you have to be great to change the game. 
anyone, literally anyone can defend. Everyone can't change the game. I disagree with that. Not everybody can defend. In the NBA, playing defense is not as easy as y'all think. In the league, I disagree with that. I feel like it just comes down to effort and wanting it. There's some people who want it who can't defend, bro. Like who? You think Trey Young want to play defense? We're talking about Trey. If he wanted to, he could. Defense isn't just sitting down. Defense is, you know. Defense is, are, if you're the low man, are you tagging? And when they hit the weak side, are you able to close out? There's other, like. I'm if, saying, yeah. Trey, if Trey wants to, he's going to be able to do that? Yeah. Okay. I mean, people were saying, oh, Jordan Poole's in this, Jordan Poole's in that. Like, I could literally recall a game from, like, a series of plays from last night, the Warriors-Kings game, where he was deflecting balls, tipping, pause, like, yeah. Okay, fair. If you like, it really just comes down to for me personally. If you want it, mm. he then uh, Cole said Curry is very great at offense. That's it, and shooting. The only and shooting is the only thing he has. He's really great at not even his entire offensive skill set is great. What? It's still a no. And yes, defense isn't shined on as offense, but that's what makes those players great. Is because they did it both, but Curry doesn't. And they go on back and forth. I'm not going to keep reading it. So get the point. is there any debate that Steph Curry is a great player? Is there any debate at all? Hell yeah. no. Like, we know. I think his what he's trying to say is because Steph don't play defense. He's not. What? He's not even top 10? Is that what he said? I don't know, bro. Like, bro. <laughs> Niggas were saying James Harden is, what, top 15, top 20, something like that. James Harden doesn't play a lick of defense. AI? Out of the top players, really, who plays defense for Brian, Giannis, and Kiwi? You talking about right now? Yeah. Yeah. KD. KD. Jason. But are they known for defense? No. No. It's a scoring league. Doesn't mean they can't get after it. It's a scoring league, bro. Luca's one of the top three players. Luca don't play a lick of defense at all, bro. Your man is Kyrie. He don't play defense. He played better defense than some of the guards that we named, though. So I mean, but even at that, like, it's a scoring league. We get paid to score. Exactly. It's that simple. Damn, I'm tired. Um. Yeah. Uh. Like we said. Let's go ahead and, and, and wrap this bad boy up. Um, we appreciate everybody who tuned in to the premiere today, actually. Tuned in. Uh, <laughs> tuned in. <laughs> my bad, my bad. <laughs> who tuned in to the premiere today. Um, we appreciate y'all comments. Uh, no, genuinely. Like, uh, Robert, I know we talking shit, but we Robert, appreciate it, though. We appreciate it, though, bro. It's all love. It's all love, little bro. promise it is. You know what I'm saying? Your dogs is mad cute. You know what I'm saying? But like we said, everything is open for discussion. Like, you know, we want we want to engage. We want to talk. Like, we definitely want to, you know, continue to grow this and, you know, have a dialogue. My biggest thing, though, is, guys, like, like I love the comments. And we'll continue to interact with them. Uh, we'll continue to be better, et cetera, et cetera. But don't say BS, guys. Like, actually come with something that we can, like, actually talk about. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, he's trash. Like. Okay, elaborate. You get what I'm saying? Like, why? Like, y'all are open to feel how y'all feel. Just explain why with valid points. Mm -hmm. If you can't do that, maybe you need to reevaluate. Your comment. You get what I'm saying? And your thought process. But um, as far as that goes, um, the chop shop. All socials at the Chop Shop Pod. We appreciate y'all for tuning in. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, rough episode, but uh, we got through it. We got through it. We gonna get better. We'll be, be better, glad y'all. We'll be better. Y'all on this journey with us. You know and yeah, appreciate y'all. Much love. We out. We out. Fresh for everyone. <laughs> <laughs>